their view of sex and now he's presenting the Christian vision for sex and according to the Apostle Paul, according to Moses, according to Jesus, the Christian vision for sex is that it is totally awesome, it is wonderful, and it is meant to only take place in the context of a lifelong covenantal relationship called marriage. One man, one woman, one marriage. You were designed to become one flesh with one other person in the context of marriage. And if it was just physical, it maybe wouldn't be a big deal. If it's just satisfying a personal craving, it wouldn't be a big deal, but it's more than that. It's not just physical. Sex with another person is a pathway to intimacy, and that intimacy is created when there's vulnerability, when there's openness. Intimacy means to be fully known and fully knowable, uh, so you open yourself up to be known, and nothing makes you quite so vulnerable and quite so open as does sex. And what Paul is saying is the reason God designed sex for marriage is because marriage is the only context in, when, in which you make yourself vulnerable in every capacity, financially, socially, relationally, spiritually, you give yourself completely to that other person and so never give yourself in physical oneness with another person unless you've also given that same person oneness with your whole life. Sex is whole life donation. And when you separate the physical from everything else, you actually undermine what it is that sex is supposed to accomplish in you. So